WNYT, Albany, in HD. News Channel 13, live at 5, begins right now. In your health, the intersection of health and technology is helping paraplegics walk again. It's thanks to something called the Rewalk Robotic Exoskeleton System. We take you to Sunnyview Rehab Hospital in Schenectady for our STEM 13 report. When I hit the ground, I instantly felt intense pressure in my back, and I, I had a pretty good, almost 100% feeling that I was... I was paralyzed. Justin Neff was right. Working as a carpenter, he fell from the roof of a house on October 29th in Rome, New York, near his home in Madison. But he got lucky. He was sent to Sunnyview Rehabilitation Hospital, becoming the first patient to use the Rewalk robotic exoskeleton system they got in December. There are only a handful of hospitals in New York with this high-tech device. I was nervous the first time. I didn't know what to expect. The wearable computer the computer-based system has motorized legs, powering Justin's knees and hip movements. Sensors in the system respond to subtle movements Justin makes with the trunk of his body to help him move forward. Amazing how much this helps balance me and stuff. Um, and I just, I felt more normal than, than with the braces or anything that I've done since I fell, which it, it's a good feeling. Good both physically and mentally for a paraplegic person. You know, I plan on walking again someday, and hopefully I won't need something like this. But in the meantime, something like this will help me get there. The Rewalk Exoskeleton System costs $100,000. Now, the one at Sunnyview was paid for completely by donations. As for Justin, well, he's heading home January 31st. And while there are 10 at-home systems being used across the country, right now there are no plans for Justin to get one because he'll be returning as an outpatient to Sunnyview. If you've got a STEM idea, send us an email to STEM13 at WNYT.com. Dedicated, determined, dependable. This is News 10 ABC at 530. What if you could walk again? Well, a first of its kind technology is helping paraplegics do just that right here in the Capital Region. Good evening and thank you for staying with us for News 10 ABC at 530. I'm Mark Baker. And I'm Lydia Colbita in for Elisa Streeter tonight. Sunnyview Rehabilitation Hospital in Schenectady revealed a new device, one that's helping people in wheelchairs to walk again. One man got the chance to be the first patient to test it out and News 10 ABC's Heather Kovar was there when it happened. Sunnyview was founded in 1928 to help improve the lives of children crippled from polio. After that was eradicated, uh, the hospital's mission broadened. But helping people walk again is at its core, and this new technology is giving great hope to current patients. 27-year-old Justin Neff has been wheelchair-bound since October of last year. Working on a roof, he fell 10 feet, landing on his back on concrete. When I hit the ground, I instantly felt intense pressure in my back, and I, I had a pretty good, almost 100% feeling that I was, I was paralyzed. After surgery, he was brought to Sunnyview Rehabilitation Hospital in Schenectady. I decided that, well, I'm going to walk again. In December, Sunnyview acquired something to help Neff with his goal, a first-of-its-kind technology in the Capital Region, the Rewalk Robotic Exoskeleton System. I plan on walking again someday, and hopefully I won't need something like this, but in the meantime, something like this will help me get there. It's a bracing system that includes a backpack with a computer and batteries. A wristband gives the system commands. Compared to the walking with my braces, you know, I have to work very hard to go distance and to even to get up and sit down. The technology was founded by an Israeli doctor and received FDA approval for home use in June 2014. However, Neff won't take this home. Say a year down the road or two years down the road, I'm feeling like, okay, I've met, I'm not going to make much more progress and I'm still having a hard time walking. Then I would think about definitely getting something like this. Since he is still in the stages of recovery, the rewalk can help. By his being up and moving around, I'm told it helps maintain bone density, lean muscle, and cardio health. The device cost $100,000. Some of you was able to get one through fundraising and donations. In the studio, Heather Kovar, News 10, ABC.
Dedicated, determined, dependable. This is News 10 ABC at 10 on Fox 23. Well, two new technology in the Capital Region is helping some learn to walk again. We're going to show you how one man injured in an accident is the first to use Sunnyview's robotic system. Now, first of its kind, technology in the Capital Region is helping paraplegics walk again. It's called the Rewalk Robotic Exoskeleton System. That's 27-year-old Justin Neff demonstrating how it works. In October of last year, Neff fell from a roof landing on his back. After surgery, he was brought to Sunnyview Rehabilitation Hospital, where he's relearning how to use his legs. You know, I plan on walking again someday, and hopefully I won't need something like this. But in the meantime, something like this will help me get there, so um, I just try to stay positive. First step. Neff is the first patient at Sunnyview to use the exoskeleton. It's only one of a few in the state and costs $100,000. Sunnyview says he was able to buy it entirely through philanthropic efforts. This is CBS 6 News. Well, advances in technology are bringing new hope to people here in the Capital Region. Next, how a robot is helping give residents a new lease on life. Well, what you're about to see looks like something out of the movie RoboCop, but we guarantee you this is the real deal. Yeah, it's a cutting-edge device that just arrived in the Capital Region, and it's helping patients with spinal cord injuries learn to walk again. CBS 6's Julia Dunn gives us a look in tonight's Your Life, Your Health. I was nervous the first time. I didn't know what to expect. You're watching 27-year-old Justin Neff do something remarkable. When I stood up in this for the first time, I was like, wow, this is so much easier. Because just a few months ago, it was unclear whether he'd ever walk again after falling from a roof in October, severely injuring his spine. When I hit the ground, I instantly felt intense pressure in my back, and I, I had a pretty good, almost 100% feeling that I was... I was paralyzed. But now Justin is literally taking major steps towards his recovery. We'll shift to his left and forward, which will initiate his first step. And it's all thanks to this robotic exoskeleton. It's called the Rewalk system, and there's only a few in New York State. Sunnyview Rehabilitation Hospital has the only one in upstate New York. The smile on a patient's face and the feeling of independence the system offers them, it's priceless. But this technology is not. What Justin is wearing costs about $100,000. Sunnyview was able to get all of this through philanthropic donations. Justin is able to do this on his own. Justin also uses braces to relearn to walk, but says this system provides much more balance. The exoskeleton runs down his legs to feet plates that are powered by a computer and a small backpack. Walking sticks are used for balance. It feels uh, very natural, about as natural as I think that I could get as opposed to regular walking. The company that makes this, Rewalk Robotics, is based in Massachusetts. Brand new at Sunnyview, Justin is the first to use it. You know, I plan on walking again someday, and hopefully I won't need something like this, but in the meantime, something like this will help me get there. In Schenectady, Julia Dunn, CBS 6 News. And that is truly amazing. Is. We wish him well, for sure.